Good morning. Welcome to the Royal Tree Guy channel. Just leaving for work now, grabbing one of the guys en route. Um, can't quite remember what we've got today. Um, the van's been dropped off for uh, an MOT and some, some maintenance. So we'll be taking the Unimog, uh, but all we'll other usual kit, I believe. I think it's um, cut and leave in situ. Fingers crossed. That'd be a good little Friday, but um, for now, head to the yard, get the kit loaded up, and I shall see you at the job. Right, first job of uh, today's job site is trim over this beach. Looks pretty good from here, but yeah, definitely overgrown, so we'll trim that up and then into the woods to do some uh, dangerous pine tree fells. So let's get to it. finished half, uh, the inside half of that hedge, I am burning muscularly. So gonna fuel up my trimmer, uh, fuel up myself and crack on. Right, just finished trimming up as high as I can reach. You can probably see like a bit of a line there. That's just a bit too long, uh, a bit too high. So we'll need the uh, extended pole trimmer for that one. But yeah, that's all the way around on the edges. Um, probably gonna move the van in position and trim the top off the top of the van. So see you up there. pretty good right all done with the hedge clearing up had some lunch and now I'm currently walking through a meadow a meadow a meadow with a what three words location two of them so we have two very sketchy by the sounds of the description um Pisces believe they are dead or dying but um the boss believes we can get up there and uh leave a, a dead stick for um habitat i guess so i have a what three words location for two separate trees and a compass um so i'm gonna go <laughs> try and find those and get an idea of what kit we can get in there hopefully we can drive a van i know there's a drivable path up here but last time i was in this section of this property uh, we had a and Rover Defender, so I'm not entirely sure the size of the Unimog will fit in here. It's definitely capable of driving in a place like this, but um, it's not a very well maintained section of the property, so God knows if we can actually even get it in there. But we also have the uh, Mitsubishi uh, Grafters, um, which are good, but they're for on road, so hopefully at the very least we can get. Kit nearby 
and not have to walk quite as far as I just have, even though I've taken the short route. I'll probably be walking for about five minutes, which isn't long, but right, I need to use my compass now. So check back in with you when I find the trees. I mean, before I go into the woods, what a thing to have on your property. This is all just meadows, a few massive oak trees. Um, yeah, amazing. They, they trim around the edges to keep it maintained just in case, but they own, I think there's a border fence that goes just, just into that woods, probably by 10 meters or 20 meters, all the way around to the front of property, which is way over that way. And then you also have this, camera doesn't do it justice, but immense amount of woodlands, so amazing. I don't know if you heard that, but the property's so big. There's two wild deer running up there, but I've kind of made my own way here, but is that eerie or what? Yeah, I'm joking. I know exactly what that's for. The You see there's a bunch of these stalls. Over there, there's a few. They're actually, um, I believe their daughter got married at this property um, before I was filming. I did some... Uh, maintenance at the property um, to allow, I think I'm coming up on the footpath which, yep, made it. Definitely won't be able to get a van up there because it's another couple hundred meters that way. Definitely found one of them. Haven't checked for both but that is clearly crispy and dead. So fling a line up one of the other Pisces and knock that in half. I can just hear, and then the other one's further up that way. Um, I can just hear deer running around in the background, just enjoying themselves. But yeah, just up there, there was a, a really crispy oak tree that I smashed down into a couple of pieces. And they walked all the way along this path and evidently had the ceremony there. So I'm going to take the actual track. There you go. They're wild boar. That's pretty cool. Wild pigs. Oh no, they're not. Apologies. They're fucking deer. Two deer just playing. I don't even think they're running from me. I think they're just having fun. Alright. Back to work. Alright, this one's very, very, very crispy and dead. And the camera makes it look way smaller than it actually is, but. Unless I went all the way to the top and sectioned it down, which would create a hell of a mess. Um, I would worry that something so dry, this low down, wouldn't just ping in half. Unlikely, I've not seen it and have very rarely heard of it. So, But it has got a little tiddle of a lean towards that, which uh, my life is more valuable than a couple of bits of wood. So the aim is to gob it down there where it'll never be seen again or it doesn't go right and uh, I get the saw out of the way and turn the gob the other way around and run for my life so see how it goes
Been a long time since I've done a uh, an outro from inside the house. Actually, probably one of the first times. But um, editing video currently. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty interesting one, pretty sketchy. The plan was to climb those trees, but <laughs> I tried the second one actually, but um, it was so soft that my spikes just wouldn't keep me in the tree. So um, had to make shift some wedges as well because we haven't had any wedges in a. Uh, uh, we didn't, sorry, one of the vans is getting on the tee, we didn't have any wedges in there, in the current van, so had to get inventive and it worked, so. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it from me. I'm absolutely knackered this week, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.